Well, today was free comic day. I went to Bellevue to visit my dad. I came home with an enormous stack of books. Here's what I got. Uh, my dad's getting rid of a ton of books, so he wanted to give me all of his Robert Johnsons. We've got Lying with the Heavenly Woman, Owning Your Own Shadow, Femininity Lost and Regained, The Fisher King and the Handless Maiden, probably the first one of those I'm going to read, Transformation. I have read He and really liked it, so I'm hoping I get a lot of enjoyment out of those. Went to Half Price, grabbed Superman in the 60s. Most of the stories in there I have not read, so very excited for that. Walked over to the comic shop in Bell Square, which I don't remember the name of. I don't normally shop there. These are the free comics I got. Moon Cop from Drawn and Quarterly. The Tick! And Love and Rockets, the Fantagraphics offering. We were allowed to take four, but I could not find a fourth one I was interested enough in to take. This is another one from the Half Price book. Still haven't taken the sticker off of that. I used to have this. It's one of my favorite Tin Tins. Uh, I left it upstairs in... Well, not upstairs, but up in my friend's treehouse. Years and years ago. Probably 25 years ago. And I got a nice, you know, slightly scuffed version to replace it. I had to check my shelf a while ago. I was like, do I have Seven Crystal Balls? I have the sequel to it, which I am blanking on the name of now. It's about the Incas. Fun stuff. This was my favorite find of the day. The original hardcover, Fearful Symmetry, Craven's Last Hunt trade, where they put it together like it was an original graphic novel. This is a great Batman story disguised as a Spider-Man story. I bought the Web of Spider-Man um, Essentials to get this, and it just does not really work for me in black and white, and everything else in that Essential was crap, so happily I found this one, and I'm digging on it. Homer and Langley by E.L. Doctrow. This is another one I took out of my dad's place. He just finished it, really liked it. I am still working my way through Fates and Furies by Lauren Groff and really digging it. But I am really looking forward to getting into this. Uh, Wonder Woman Earth 1. Well, I hate to say it, I waited and waited for this to come out and was not particularly impressed. I am going to pass it on to my roommate before I donate it or sell it. But, yeah, compared to... And I just got into actually reading Wonder Woman, but... Compared to the George Perez Wonder Woman, really not that good. Um, I'm sure somebody out there could enjoy it. You're diehard uh, Grant Morrison enthusiasts, but not for me. Finally, it was super cheap. It was uh, $16 for a $50 book. Adventures of Superman by Jose Garcia Lopez. Praise be his name. And it has another Wonder Woman story I've always wanted to read, the Wonder Woman vs. Superman story. Here's the suck of this, which is why I think it was as cheap as it was. The art restoration in this just looks awful. Um, I don't know how well you can tell on these crummy cell phone videos. Really not at all. Um, so at some point when I do a book walkthrough with a better camera, I will show you what my issue was. But that's this video. Thanks for watching.